I wonder if it's possible to elaborate a little bit further on the uh, hotel and resort sector. Uh, as I guess we all know, uh, Turkey has managed to capture quite a good market segment, not least as a result of the travel in the Northern Africa. The fact that Greece uh, next door has become very expensive, or it was expensive at least. Uh, and as far as I know, there is enough activity. For example, we've seen lately that one of the construction firms in Turkey has teamed up with a Greek firm and they're developing marine. So it seems to me that this particular sector uh, might attract further activity and interest. Uh, any comments from perhaps Ahmed or Anthony on that? So far? I, I, I totally, yeah, I totally, I totally agree. agree. Maybe so some general comments. I mean, uh, in the business, we are not, not really in the resorts and, and, and marina developments. But what we see definitely happy, happening is that, uh, that Turkey, of course, again, also in the field of tourism, classically, a strong exposure uh, to, to Europe. It has widened its market. It has, for example, visa agreements with Russia and the Ukraine. And Russia is now among the no top. No visa, yeah. Uh, no, among the top. No visa. Uh, no visa. Uh, visa no agreement. Visa, <laughs> visa agreement. <laughs> so no visa. Uh, and uh, so it's among the top destinations. Uh, Russians are the top group for, in terms of size. Uh, of tourist arrivals, and furthermore also looking to, let's say, North Africa and the Gulf region. Uh, the lack of stability there, but also Turkey increasingly positioned itself as, as you know, a holiday destination and a resort destination for people living in that region who encounter more difficulties entering Europe. Mm -hmm. So you see that basically the market sources for Turkey are growing on all the sides, mm -hmm. and also in the legislation in the sphere of, uh, of international property ownership, international home ownership, mm -hmm. reforms have, been, uh, have mainly been changing the market and the market is now very well accessible for international investors in secondary housing, yeah. in resort shares, etc. So, so the potential is enormous. Yeah, you see a, a very big potential. In terms of interest, uh, <coughs> again, I think from the international <coughs> scene, uh, people are just focusing on Istanbul, <coughs> being a major city, a, a very strong hub for combining both city and uh, weekend uh, stays, so we see a lot of interest from international investors. But for more adventurous uh, international investors, the, the areas of Antalya, Bodrum, Marmaris region, uh, even if you go down uh, south, is, is still a, a big interest, and we see a lot well, more interest. We see it even in the south. I mean, Antalya, Alanya, there is a big German uh, retirement yeah. community. German they, buy, yeah, they right. buy properties there. Mm -hmm. Uh, I myself come quite often also in the area around Kusada Sedidim. And, uh, and there's a lot of British, even in shops, prices are advertised in British pounds. <laughs> it's not without a reason. So, I mean, there, there, there is a strong source. <laughs> I mean, I guess the gentleman Tassos mentioned, I mean, the Doge Group is actually very active in, yes. in buying marinas. And they bought uh, half of Athens Marina. Uh, partner there, and they also own marinas in Turkey themselves. So, I mean, I think. Uh, in, in terms of, I think they are the most active group in Turkey, uh, yes. in South yes. Marinas. And uh, in terms of uh, resources and so forth, as you mentioned, yes, there is, what you've seen is Istanbul, especially for Gulf countries and for Middle Easterns, is becoming like Beirut of, you know, 1960s. I mean, you know, we have been seeing a lot of Arab tourists, you know, Iranians, you know, you know previously Syrians, you know, because, you know, they feel comfortable in Istanbul, you know. Mm -hmm. And a European also feel, I always talk to Turkish businessmen, Turkey has this, I mean, literally East and West mix. So if you're an Arab, I mean, you come to, to Istanbul, you like it because, you know, you can go to the mosque, you can go and eat the, the food that you have at home. But also for a European, it's, it's very interesting because you can go to the nightclub in, in Reina and, uh, you know, you can go to the best restaurants. So it's a really literal mix of uh, this uh, liberal, I would say, like, you know, uh, Beirut in, in the 60s. So I think there is, uh, is going to even grow further. So, I mean, Istanbul is, is going to attract uh, you know, even more attention.